Hello, friends. I welcome you to a new day. Jesus is Lord and his lordship is forever. Can we just appreciate him? Zikete Pelegedusha. Glorify him. He has given you the privilege to see a new day. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him praise. It's entirely a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. Zikete Pelegedusha. And we will rise to praise him. And we will rise to say thank you. Zikete Pelegedusha. Give him worship. We owe him a debt of gratitude. Somebody help me appreciate him. Glorify him. He is our life giver. He is our caregiver. Glorify him everywhere. He is the king of glory. The captain of our destiny. Ocean divider is his name. Barrier breaker is his name. Obstacle crusher is his name. Miracle worker is his name. Somebody go ahead. Appreciate him. Worship. Exalt the name of Jesus. We set up our banners this morning to declare that our God reigns. Our God is mighty. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Sweet Holy Spirit, we welcome you into a new day. You look wonderful in a new day. Hallowed be the name of Jesus. In Jesus Christ, matchless name we worship. Amen. Now, friends, let's do this thing together as we proceed. Mm, will your anchorhood in the storms of life when the clouds unfold their wings of strife when the strong tides lift and their care boost strain will your anchorhood Cold drift of fame remain. We have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and show why the be loose roll. Fast into the rock which cannot move. Grounded fame and deep in the Savior's love. It is safely mild to the storm we stand. For it's well secured by the Savior's hand. And the care both past. From his heart to mine can defy the blast through the strength divine. We have an anchor that keeps the soul kai steadfast and sure why there be no through. Fast into the rock which cannot move. Granted fame and deep in the Savior's love. Kali and the Bragadosh, Bragadosh. Eat with familyhood in the stress of fear. When the breakers have told, the reef is near. Though the tempest rave and the wide winds blow, not an angry wave shall a bank overflow. We have an anchor that keeps the soul stayed fast and sure why the below's road fast into the rock which cannot move grounded fame and deep in the savior's love we say we have an anchor that keeps the soul. Stay fast and sure 
why there be low oh, fasting to the rock which cannot move. Grounded fame and deep in the Savior's love. Grounded fame and deep in the Savior's love. Come on. Mm. Grounded fame and deep in the Savior's love. Oh, grounded fame and deep in the Savior's love. I believe that somebody's already been blessed this morning. This is SPDD. This is Spirit Praise Daily Devotional. And Spirit Praise Daily Devotional comes their way every morning to build up your spiritual capacity and network. It comes as a daily dose to strengthen your spiritual cables and wires and to keep you ablaze for God. All days. Zeze Kalash. And our topic for today says, No power can stop God's purpose for you. Briefly this morning, we take our Bible reading from Isaiah 14, verse 27. And the Bible says, For the Lord of hosts hath proposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Mm. Friends, listen to me. God is the omnipotent, and he rules in the affairs of me. He is the supreme, and his jurisdiction is global, like we say every morning. His jurisdiction is global. From our text, it is clear that God's purpose or plan cannot be disannulled nor stopped by any force. Amen. As a matter of fact, his purpose may be delayed, but cannot be stopped. Amen. When I mean his purpose, I mean his plan, his program, and his agenda for you, for your family, for your nation, for your career, for your academics, for your ministry, and everything concerning you. And listen to me, God has a good purpose for you. And that's why the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the thoughts I think towards you, thoughts for good and not for evil, to give you a future and an expected end. Amen? Listen to me, friends. God's purpose for your life is the best. <laughs> Let me hear you say it's the best. <laughs> Most often it may sound incredible in the ears of people. Uh -huh. How can a woman conceive at 90? As incredible as it sounds, the purpose of God was established. No flesh could stop it. Amen? I'm talking about Mama Sarah. Listen again, as incredible as it sounds, the Red Sea was divided. And an emergency express road created just for the purpose of the Most High God to be established. Hmm. Hear me, friends. In this season, no power, no force has a license to stop God's purpose for you. It may seem delayed, but in God's calendar, delay does not mean denial. That's why it says in Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3, Though it tarries, wait for it. I say wait for it. As the damsel of the Most High God, I bring the word of God to you. <laughs> that his purpose for you shall never be truncated in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. And then it went further in that verse to say, <laughs> His hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Listen to me, friends. No one can stand against God. <laughs> no one can stand against his government because his government is internal. <laughs> his government can never suffer impeachment. <laughs> Hear me, friends, before we pray. No matter how dark the night may be, there will always be a breaking forth of the new day. Likewise, it doesn't matter the schemes of the enemy and the number of your enemies and their sophisticated weapons. None can resist the execution of God's purpose. Hallelujah. Now hear me again. No one has the power. I repeat again. No one has the power to resist God's plan. 
if any man does God, <laughs> he will remove the person from the way. <laughs> I mean, like he did <laughs> at the Red Sea, <laughs> like he did to Haman <laughs> and replace him with Mordecai, <laughs> like he did to Herod <laughs> and his body was eaten by maggots. <laughs> Just to prove a point of the fact that his purpose can never be frustrated. <laughs> now as we pray, I came to encourage you this morning to make God your ally and watch his purpose fulfilled and his straight at hand execute his counsel in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Now listen to me. Let the creation respond to your tongues this morning. The purpose of God for your life shall never be truncated. Somebody go in the Holy Ghost. I say pray in the Holy Ghost. His purpose shall stand. I said his purpose shall stand. Every other thing is transit. Somebody go in the Holy Ghost. Only his purpose can stand and nothing can change it. Let there be a breaking forth this morning. Somebody go in the Holy Ghost. I say somebody go in the Holy Ghost. I said his purpose shall prevail. I said his purpose for your life shall never be truncated. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Speak mystery to mystery. Lord be magnified. Our Father be glorified. Thank you, everlasting. God, for who is he that has spoken and is coming to pass? When you have not ordained it, when you have not allowed it, we give you praise. Thank you, O God, for spirit praise daily devotional. Thank you for what you are doing on this global platform every day. We return the glory. Be magnified. We give you thanks. Hallowed be your name. And I decree and declare that from today, that which God has proposed for you shall be manifested. Without further delay, his purpose for you shall stand and shall never, I said, and shall never be truncated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, make that amen louder from the other side. Amen. Have a pleasant day ahead in partnership with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit.
Thank you.